What's going on YouTube? Kevin Reese here back again today. We're going to be doing a starter and solenoid replacement on an 07 Mercury Milan. This has got the V6 engine in it. Show y'all what we got going on here guys. So we got it set up out here. Your starter is actually going to be here. Let me get down here under that battery. So let's go ahead and get started. Actually got the S2000 out today. Got to put some miles on it. Ran over to AutoZone. It's the only one they had um, in like a 30... 40 mile radius from my house. So uh, let's see if I can get a part number on this for y'all. Uh, here we go right here, guys. Here's your part number. And this is the starter motor and solenoid. Um, got it at AutoZone, this Duralast brand here, um, remanufactured starter. So these starters, guys, they have a lifetime warranty on them. Anything happens with them, you just take them back. Um, uh, for this one, it was 201 and some change. Uh, take it back in with your $30 core charge and you get uh, you get some you get 30 bucks back And uh, so I'm think it averaged out at about like 160 and some change or something like that So let's go ahead and take this bad boy out guys. Let's go ahead and get started with this thing All right guys, so to get started here. Let me just show y'all what we got So like I said you have your battery here if you look down you can kind of see the top of a starter solenoid it's right and this is hard to see guys. I'm sorry. It's right down there. You can barely see it, but it's down there uh, So what you, what we're gonna have to do looks like guys to start out with you've got some bolts here on your battery um, To remove your terminal you got one here uh, We got one here on this side that loosens I'm not sure what sizes are maybe eight or ten mils uh, We'll I'll let you know in a second, but we're gonna pull these off and disconnect that um, you got a bolt here that holds your battery in place. That's probably maybe a 10. We'll see in a second. Uh, you take that off. Um, may have to loosen this one also and, uh, get that out the way. And then we'll see how this battery box comes out the way. But once that's out the way, guys, it looks like we'll have pretty easy access to the starter. So I'm gonna grab some tools. I'll let y'all know what kind of wrenches sockets we'll be working with. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So right here on the side here, this is an eight millimeter. You got a 10 millimeter on top, 10 millimeter right here, and then this back corner here, you got another eight millimeter. So, and uh, this car's got aftermarket HIDs on, so you, these wires that you're seeing, these are extra. So um, your, your situation may not be exactly the same. Uh, coming down right here, you also have a 10 millimeter. We may have to remove this also. Looks like we're gonna have to remove both of those bolts to get this bracket off. So we're gonna take these disconnect these terminals here um, that'll just get the battery out of the way It'll also even if you didn't have to do this you would still want to do it when you're working around the starter because electricity you don't want it to be energized um, also with this car guys um, just I'm big on safety I went ahead and pulled the e-brake you can block the wheels if you want to but this is good enough we are going to have to get up under the car for this application so that's a plus so we're going to go ahead and remove these bolts take it from somebody that's been doing this a while can of penetrate and oil doesn't necessarily have to be PB blaster, but I found it works pretty good. Can of penetrate and oil goes a long way. A little bit of this goes a long way, guys. So I always hit all these bolts and stuff before you start messing with them. Kind of help loosen everything up. All right, guys. So once you have all your your cables removed, all I really did, you can see here, I just loosened the terminal connectors. I didn't actually take anything off. I loosened them. There's my battery right here. So. What you have next is, you can see right there, I removed that one pop pin that holds that electrical cord in place. And uh, you have another one right there. I removed it also. You have now one, two 10 millimeter bolts that hold this tray in. There's also, these wires are connected on this other side somehow uh, to this uh, battery tray. Once I get these bolts out of the way, uh, we'll be able to figure out what's holding them in a little better. So let's go ahead and get these bolts and get this tray out of here. All right, guys, so you see right here, that was that nut right there. 10 millimeter goes here. This hole here actually had a bolt, and it looks like that bolt was sitting right here. So now we'll see if we can get this tray out of here. All right, guys, so the tray's out of here. And let me show you what I found. So if you turn around to the back side here, you can see there's like a tab here, and it looks like maybe a piece of this. It looks like these, these slide slide in somehow. Not really sure. As you can see here, that one, um, I just pulled on it. Actually, it broke that piece off. 
but it shouldn't affect anything once it's down in there. Those wires are straight. So having that really is not gonna make that much of a difference. So, but anyway, that's just good information for y'all to know. So coming right here, you see our wires. Now you see we can see a little bit better here what we're working with as far as this starter goes. So here's the, you got your solenoid here on top. Then you got your starter motor right here. So we're gonna go ahead, let me look at this thing a second and we'll figure out how we gonna attack this and get this out of here. All right guys, so what we found out here, if you look down in there, it's very hard to see. Um, but on either side of this starter motor, some people call this the turtle, the turtle head shell design. So on one side back in here, I don't even know if you can see that. And then on the other side, there's a bolt. I don't know what size it is yet. I'm gonna find that out and let y'all know. But it's on both sides. It's very, very hard to see, guys. I'm doing the best I can to show y'all down in here. But I, I think it'll be easier once I get it out to show you. But if you can kind of see down in there, it's kind of one. Maybe right in that area, you can see it. But once I get it out of here, it'll be a lot easier to see. But it's on both sides. So it sits on top of the motor and it bolts down. So that's how we're, what we're going to do. We'll find out what size it is, pull it out. All right, guys. 13 millimeter. So what I did, because this was the easiest one to get to on this side, went ahead and got it out, but you can see I've got uh, about four of these extensions here, three eighths drive, and um, a little U-joint down here on the end. So um, that's how I was able, because it's kind of on an angle, I couldn't get straight down to it, but um, with, with four of these, I was able to get, up, get far in enough on it, and uh, with that U-joint, I could get a little bit of an angle. You can see it down there turning. Um, so anyway, that's what I did. And hey, we're gonna start on the other side now. Second bolt removed, 13 millimeter. Down here in this area, I accessed it the same way I did the other one, except just kind of came in through an angle like this. Kind of came in right down through here. If you can look back there, you can almost see, you can see that hole. Yep, I see it. I can see it from here. Y'all might not be able to see it, but it's straight back, right in that area, right there. You can see that hole. And I kind of came in right down through here past this little this little radiator hose, right down in there with this little U-joint. So um, I was able to get it on there and get it off with that. So now we're going to start the process of grabbing and snatching on this thing, trying to get it out of here. And we do have some electrical wires here, you know, our power and ground wires that are going to our starter motor. So uh, we'll wiggle this thing out of here some, guys, and see what we're working with. All right, guys, so if you look right here on the top of our little starter solenoid, right there that's a 13 millimeter nut and then right down below that one right here you have a 10 millimeter so this is your ground here if you look right here you can see our red our positive coming back in around this back side here going in here so so this is our power coming in so we're going to go ahead and remove both of these and uh, once we get those wires out of the way that's kind of holding you can see that starter is just moving we move it around you see our starter is our starter motor is free in here we just have these wires here that we have to get off, so we should be able to pull it out after that. All right, guys, so we've got the starter out. If you can see here, maybe you can see a little bit better. Let me hit a little extra light on this subject down here, guys. So if you look right down in there, you can see where the starter goes. You can see the flywheel right there, and you can see that bolt on that side and that bolt on that side. That's what I was talking to you all about. So that is uh, what we were... What we're working on so it's it it mounts right on top two 13 millimeter bolts so hopefully y'all can see that clear as day now and um here's our starter guys and this is this car's got about 250,000 on it this is the original from the dealership this is a ford ford starter so i want to say guys if you see my other video i did on my um 01 f-150 got about the same amount of miles as this car about 250,000 roughly 245 to 250 both of these cars about the exact same mileage and replaced the starters about the same time because i just did mine a couple months ago um so 250,000 miles that's not bad i mean you think you you may replace the starter once in the lifetime of the whole vehicle uh but they're last we're putting it on lifetime warranty so as long as you keep the vehicle the starters covered so never have to worry about it again let's go ahead and take the new one out throw it in and get started all right, so you can see here, remanufactured in Mexico, triple tested. There's your tech support number, 
So we're gonna put this bad boy in, guys. Hopefully this thing works like a dream. Brand new, even came with some, some new nuts and washers for us. So let's go ahead and slap it in. All right, guys, look down in here. We've got the starter in place. Uh, so the easiest thing to do, it's hard to see down here, guys. I know this whole, this whole job is hard to see, but if you look, let me show you right there. You can see the new starter motor. Uh, our bolt hole is going to be right up here. You can see up front. Um, this back is each side has like these little dowels right there in the hole. Just make sure you put that on there and line those dowels up. Once it pops into that hole, it's pretty secure, and uh, that'll that'll let you know that you've got it in the right spot. So then you can go ahead, start putting our bolts in. Just make sure you don't cross the rudder. Make sure they're in there good. Try to do it with your hand. Run them on down snug, and then finish tightening them off with the ratchet. All right, guys. So. Remember, 13 millimeter bolt and your 10 millimeter bolt here. Go ahead and put those on with the wires. You can see here, like I did, go ahead, tighten, snug them down real good. Pop this on. And you may have to, I kept having this wire turn on me in this nut here. Um, on the back of that, it's a small uh, little flathead screw, um, screw head that goes through the back of it. So you may have to hold that in place of what I use for that guys I got a lot of these little specialty tools this little small flathead I was able to hold it in place uh, so it wouldn't turn and go ahead and snug that wire down because if you, if you know what I'm talking about sometimes you run into issues like this where there's nothing holding the back and it keeps turning it just wants to turn that wire completely around so I was able to hold it in place and get it to snug down with that um, put your little cover like you have right here we just pop that back over like that so it looks nice in factory and um, all you have now guys is uh, we'll go ahead and kind of move these wires out the way we'll get our battery box back in place go ahead and put it in and we'll just repeat the steps just kind of um, you know the, the reinstallation is just kind of like the reverse of the removal so we'll go ahead and do that all right so everything back together Make sure you put your bolt back in there the little hooks up underneath that little tab down there that's how that goes in Got your the bolt back in on this side. The box is secure. Like I said, now this is aftermarket, these HIDs, so don't pay that any attention. You got your wires to run down the back side back there. Just make sure everything's clear around your box. Everything else is in there good. So now we'll go ahead and start it up and see if she starts. All right, we'll see if it's gonna start. There we go. Just like that. And that's how you do it. I'm Kevin Reese. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe.